Hi, it's Sarah. So yesterday I did, I put up a video on my bottle cap swap. Um, this little container that I made to hold them, I got a request for the measurements. And I decided because they just look too Christmassy. It wasn't my intention. Um, the paper I used, it's just kind of red and green and has gold. But it's, it's more, it's like supposed to be, um, it's folk art. But anyway, um, I'm going to make some new ones. So I, I chose to use the, uh, what is it, Once Upon a Time. So that's definitely not Christmassy. So what you're going to need is one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, the whole thing is made from that. And if it's double sided, you don't even need the bottom half. You only need the top half. So, but because this isn't double sided, you use the bottom half to line the, the inside of the, of the, um, of the, of the, I don't know what to call it, like a folder. So the first thing you want to do is cut your papers down, cut it in half to six by 12. So you'll have two pieces of six by 12. All right. And then the actual piece that you're going to use for your cover, for the folder, is 6 by 11. So you're going to cut down, cut a little smidge off, an inch off the end of, of whichever side you want to use for the cover, the, the, the outside of the cover. And then you'll use the bottom part for the inside. So you cut that down to 6 by 11. And then once you have that, you're going to score it. Now there's a couple things about the scoring. This one I did wrong because I wanted the fairy to show. So just think about how you want your paper to fold before you score because you want, like, so I wanted her to go like this and then this would have been my little part, but I wanted her to show. But the way I scored it, she's the little part, so only a little part of her wing shows. So that was wrong. But what where you score is four, four and a half, eight and a half, and nine. So now you have a six by eleven paper scored at four, four and a half, eight and a half, and nine. And then I also used a scallop or any type of edge punch you want to do, and I I did that on the small edge. So I'll show you on. Okay, so then once once you've done all that, oh wait, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> we're only to the scallop part. But this is uh, this is actually done right. I'm going to use this one. So once you've scored that, you can fold at your score lines, and I'll show you what's going to be happening here. So here, my fairy's showing now, and I would finish this scallop, and I'd have that all nice and done. So that's your book. It opens like this. It's a folder-like type thing. We're going to put a piece of ribbon on it to hold it closed. And then your other piece of paper, that the bottom part of the paper, you need to cut a smidge off the bottom of that because you want it to fit inside here. I like to leave a little smidge of room inside, like this one. So see how on the inside I've left that smidge of room to just show like that. So you're going to cut two pieces at three, oh, first cut off that little smidge so it's five and three quarters instead of six. Then you're going to cut two pieces at three and three quarters. So that's these two. See, so you have it lined up like this. And you have one at one and a half. After it's, I don't think that's one and a half, but after you um, scallop the edge, it becomes one and a half. And then two little pieces at three, just three eighths of an inch. Three eighths by five and three quarters. That fits right in that little gusset area. So that's that. All right, so then your book will be lined and everything. Kind of look like this. Um, before you glue them down, I did uh, distress the edges. I use vintage photo and just distress the edges of the inside papers. <coughs> Excuse me. And I went around the outside. I didn't do the inside crevices. I didn't do or the, even the inside edges. But however you like to ink your pieces, you ink it up that way. Okay, so that's your measurements for that. I really wanted to get to the part where you're going to, how you attach your um, bottle caps. So I wanted to get to this part. 
So now you've got everything cut and glued and adhered. The next step is to put in your little eyelet. So I just measure uh, three inches. I center it about in the center of this of the small end and put an eyelet in there. And then I also made a little line here at three inches because I like to use um, my ATG and I like that line because then I can follow it and adhere a little bit of tape there. So when I put my ribbon on and I just kind of make it even, I guess. Wait, hey, get off there. I mean, you can actually, it, it'll come off if I need, need it to. So you just thread that through. And that's how you're going to um, tie your little, I guess it's called a folder. I like that description. Of course I'm on video, so it's not, my ribbon's all twisted. All right, so now you have this, and this is how you're gonna close it. I'm trying to look around the camera. See, now I didn't um, line up the ribbon right, so what you would do is just kind of tie it beforehand before you glue it down, and make sure you have enough ribbon on both sides. But that's how you do your ribbon. Now this little part, what I did here is I take my bottle caps before you punch any holes or anything and I kind of line them up how I'm gonna want to display them this way so I've kind of just lined them up I wanted to have one up a little bit and took my pencil and just get them kind of settled where you think they'll hang and I put a little pencil mark on each of the different areas and then this little punch, where did I put it? It's, I think it's a Fisker's punch. I don't know, it doesn't say anything on it, but it has a small, it's smaller than the crocodile, and it actually reaches further in too. So you can go all the way in and get those, and um, punch those holes. So you punch those holes, and then the next part is you need to use this little, I got a, like an eighth of an inch ribbon, and this is brown. And you're going to start from the back and go in and out, in and out, and make, this is going to be hard to do on camera, I'm sure. So you just grab each bottle cap and then go back through. Let's see, you got to make sure you leave enough, um, so that you can do each one and have enough room to tie it at the end. This is, oh, it's not going too bad. Not going so bad. Go in. I like to burn the edge of my, um, I think I'll do that. I mean, I'm going to run out of time. Time flies when you're having fun. But I like to burn the edge of that because then it's not as uh, frayed. It goes in the hole much easier. And then go back in. The last hole. Get my little angel, go in that, and then thread it back through, and tie a bow in the back. Oh, come on, time's a ticking. So now you've got this little triangle. Hey, that didn't work out too bad with the length of ribbon left to tie it with. So you just try and tie when you're looking around a camera. <laughs> and you would trim it up and everything, but let's see. So, all right, so this one's a backwards, and all you do is you just pull it and flip the ribbon. Like the ribbon's just, so there it is. So now you have that and that. And I'm going to fix my ribbon, but I'm out of time. Thank goodness I made it. So I'm going to put the measurements in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.